When rendering exterior daylight scenes, sunlight is the main and often only source of light we're going to have. To create realistic sunlight, a light source with parallel light beams that don't splay out is needed. In Vectorworks, this type of light source is called a directional light. You can find your directional light when you click on the light tool in the visualization tool group. It will appear as the first mode in the tool's mode bar. Its tool icon resembles the sun because the sun is the only natural source of directional light. When you first place a light source in a scene, the Light Preferences dialog will pop up, asking about the settings you want for the light. In this example, I'm enabling soft shadows because I don't want hard midday sun. This will obviously depend on the scene, where it's located, the time of day, etc. Immediately, shadows are calculated for the scene. These are not soft shadows yet because we're in OpenGL, which does not support soft shadows. Oh, by the way, directional lights are the only light source whose position in the scene does not have an effect on the shadows it casts. The light widget's purpose is to allow you to adjust its angle and direction, or more correctly, its azimuth and elevation. By dragging the widget, you can get an instant preview of the shadows which are being cast by the objects in the scene. I'm going to switch to Custom Renderworks now to get a proper preview of how the directional light affects my scene. There is no calculation time because I have pre-rendered the scene, so Renderworks does not need to recalculate the solution from scratch. Sometimes you may want to simulate lighting and shadows in a project for a specific moment in time, or even understand how shadows travel on a particular day of the year. Vectorworks addresses that need through the Heliodon tool. You can use a Heliodon to get accurate shadows based on geolocation, aspect, date and time. I've modelled a little fun scene and I want to get accurate shadows that match those of a satellite aerial photo. Clicking on the Heliodon tool and then the Options button in the mode bar will bring up the settings for the Heliodon. Let's choose a city near our historic site. I'm choosing UK and then Southampton. That's near enough although you can enter any place manually if you require millimeter accuracy. As for the directional light, it doesn't matter where we place the Heliodon. A quick OpenGL preview and comparison with the satellite image in Apple Maps reveals that we're a bit off. Since shadows were quite long in the maps image, September or March seem to be a good starting point, but we'll probably need to adjust the time of day. With the Heliodon still enabled, Let's use the integrated solar animation to fine-tune the shadows. With the hour slider I can adjust the time and by either clicking the up and down arrows or entering a value manually, I can set the exact day for my simulation. Let's compare it to the satellite image. That looks about right. A quick perspective and Renderworks will deliver the final result. Directional lights also play an important role in interior scenes. In this scene I want to create a late afternoon mood with some sun entering at a shallow angle. Although there is a light source already in the scene, it needs yet to be set up to enter the room at the desired angle. Since it is outside the room, a good way to adjust it is by finding it in the visualization palette. Now it can be selected by double-clicking its name and adjusting its azimuth and elevation in the Object Info palette. OK, that'll do. I'm going to render with Custom Renderworks. I've sped up the video a bit because the settings I'm using require a calculation of a few minutes. It's a good idea, by the way, to make sure that backgrounds and the overall illumination match the theme. If the buildings outside were brightly lit, for example, the eye would hardly believe that we're looking at a scene where the sun is coming from behind the skyline, so it's a good idea to adjust backgrounds in Photoshop, but we'll talk about that another time. This is our final result. Thanks for watching. See you next time.